Hello everyone, welcome back to Mighty Craft Season 2. In the last episode, we started building our first tower, which turned out pretty cool in my opinion, and I, uh, I'm uh, i pretty excited to keep working on it. Right now, I'm about to go check up on the store, see what's up with that, see if we have to restock anything, made some profit, who knows? Whoa, we have a shop now. Deep Slate? <gasps> One diamond, two stacks. Yo. Oh no. <laughs> Wood. One diamond, one stack. Oh. It's not half bad. Oh, it seems like it's going to be expanded too. That's pretty cool. I don't know whose store this is though. Oh, it looks like they still have a bit of terraforming to do. <laughs> And they started making a path. Oh, that's pretty fancy. And for the grand reveal. Yo, there's no way. We sold out again. Okay, well, I have to restock <laughs> again. That's ridiculous. Wow. There's a lot more lucrative than I thought it was going to be. Uh, and we even sold the Aqua Affinity. We'll put it into our diamonds box. And actually, now we have to restart. That's the less fun part. Oh, in addition, earlier, I, uh, I did a small mining run on the surface uh, at a little mountain biome that was right, uh, right beside my base. And I got a couple resources. Um, I think we, had, we got some... Uh, yeah, a bit of coal, some copper ore, and some iron. Not a lot, but we did get quite a bit of gravel. Now I have to uh, restock my bookstore. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack up more of the cheaper books, or maybe even the more expensive books. We'll see what I end up doing. Because uh, it seems like four books of each is not enough to keep people satisfied. And if this keeps up, maybe we'll just have to raise the price just a little bit because uh, maybe this is a really profitable idea and I could be getting a lot more damage than I am right now. So uh, turns out I'm going to have to do a lot more AFK because those books are kind of expensive with all the emeralds and I don't have enough uh, pumpkins and melons. So I'm going to do a little bit of building and you know what? I think this episode I want to make a megazone of me just working on the base. So we're going to do a lot of progress on it throughout the video and let's start it with right now. So, uh, let's hit it! So, uh, quick update, we've done, uh, quite a bit of work, ah! We did quite a bit of work, uh, on the tower and the, uh, the books. So, first thing we did was, uh, added to the top of the tower. So now we got a little bit more. Uh, it's actually almost to the top, there's still one more section that's gonna have to be made. That's most of the front, and we filled in a bunch of these black places, and we started doing the, uh, the back side. So we're gonna keep going up here. Uh, next is, oh my goodness. We're gonna work on here a bit more. That's actually the next thing I'm gonna do. We're going pretty strong. I started stocking up the shop too. And what we're gonna be doing with the shop, I will uh, let you know in a little bit when we get there. But there you go. That's a quick update and uh, back to it.
I just restocked the shop, and here's what's changed. I changed up the layout just so we have more books, and we expanded the stocks. Instead of having four books each, we have six books each. So that should last a little bit longer. And the price has gone, uh, well, become twice more expensive because it used to be one diamond for four books. Now it's one diamond for two books. This is for two reasons. One, I keep selling out so people need it. Two, uh, it takes quite a bit of time to actually stock up. So uh, maybe it'll uh, deter people from... I don't know, buying all of it, or we'll just make more diamonds. So, either or, I think it's win. We also added, I believe, Quick Charge 3 to the mix, and all we're missing is uh, Thorns 3 over here, and then we'll be uh, pretty much all restocked up. So, yeah, that's about it. Pretty fancy, and back to the base. Okay, so after a little bit of terraforming work, or at least the start of it, uh, I was just contacted for a book order by Sam. He unfortunately died uh, a bit ago and lost all his stuff, so he's just asked me to get a bunch of books for him, and that's what we're going to go do right now. So all we have to do is trade up, which isn't going to be a big problem since I did a pretty big AFK session. A little longer than a few minutes later. And the order is complete. We have four protection fours, two efficiency fives, one respiration three, one sharpness five, one looting five, uh, three. Uh, I think five unbreaking threes, one fortune three, and seven mending. So that comes up to 22 books. And with our price of one diamond for two books, it would come up to 11 diamonds. So we're just gonna make them a bundle deal of one diamond block, which is nine diamonds. So we're gonna go drop it off right now and uh, see you there. Oh. Yo, this is like three times what I asked for. We'll give him a, an eight book discount or not discount, a uh, ticket for my drop to add to it. Cause three freaking diamond blocks is way more than that. I signed up for it and I don't have any paper. Darn. Uh. Eight. Three. Books. Dirt. Coin? No. Dirt. Ticket. Dino. Bingo! There you go, he'll be able to cash in at the store. Okay, let's head back to base.
Okay, well, I think I've done quite a bit of work, and it is uh, looking absolutely fabulous. I've done a lot of terraforming, because I just, I don't know, I was in the mood to do some mindless block placing. And some of you might have noticed that I redid the bottom here. I wasn't really happy with the curve, and I wanted it to be more like a cliff, so I made it more abrupt, and... Well, let's just say that it looks really cool, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to have to deal with the snow at some point, because it does kind of hurt the eyes. And I want to make it look maybe a little bit more natural, if it's possible. But holy smokes. And we're not even done. Uh, there's still some more over here to do. And then we're going to have most of the front done. And I know that I haven't actually finished the tower itself. But, hey, I think we've done a lot of good progress today. And it's looking absolutely freaking amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. Especially adding those pieces going down into the mountain. It makes it look like uh, it actually is built into it. Which is absolutely freaking amazing and awesome. And it's going to look much cooler whenever there's some interior. Because right now we kind of see through it and it's a little weird. But I don't know. I absolutely love it. Especially whenever you're going to come out of the portal. And all you're going to see is this massive area with just three towers oh <laughs> this is getting me excited for the project and i haven't even scratched the surface for it but there we go uh one of the main things that did happen is i basically ran out of deep slate i actually had to go into the mines and get a little bit more just so i could finish <laughs> some of the pieces that we already started so we're gonna have to ow we're gonna have to go get some more but oh uh, this is going to be so awesome. Especially, this is going to be big, and we're going to have a lot of room to play with. And put stuff in it, and that's just one tower. Oh, I'm super excited. Let me know what you guys think about how that turned out. I think it turned out pretty great. Another thing that I added while uh, building was a small honey block stand at the shopping district, because I had, like, two rows of honey blocks. And, uh... I don't need that many, so I just decided to go sell, like, I think, eight stacks and see how that goes. Uh, I have no idea if it's actually sold or not, but, hey, we'll see in the future. <laughs> but, that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you liked it. It's a very short one, but it's an episode where we made a whole bunch of progress, especially on the base, and it makes me very happy. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.